Hello, beautiful people. It's Celia Monsoning Zangele here again. Um, if you're coming across this YouTube channel for the first time, welcome. If you're a return sabi, yo, I love you, appreciate you so, so much for coming back over and over again to watch my unprofessional videos. We are getting there. Finally, we will be professional in this space. Please bear with me. And uh, I would like to pass my special thanks to Fresh Trends and also Ndandom Leje for advertising my channel on their community posts. And without me asking, it was just a gesture of, you know, out of their own goodwill. I didn't know there are such uh, beautiful people who are, you know, good-hearted on this YouTube space. Thank you so much, friends. Uh, thank you so much, my colleagues. And thank you to those who have subscribed. Thank you to all of you, the new subscribers. Welcome. Um, this space, it's our space. Feel at home. And remember to share, subscribe, set the notification bell, and leave a comment in the comment section. Please, I love engaging you in the comment, comment section. Um, as people who are used to working um, at uh, nine, nine to five jobs, we are not used to gossiping about our colleagues. Even if we gossip about our colleagues, it has to be hush, 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 hush. Uh, the person that is gossiped about never get to hear uh, what is being said about them. If it ever comes and surfaces, it causes havoc in the workspace. So I don't know. I, I see here on YouTube space, like things are very, very different. Um, <laughs> people are like getting very comfortable uh, in talking about others so and um, because i did if you have been with me for a while you would know that i did say that i was inspired by a lady called owami Kamwani nechiba jawulu she's the one that uh, inspired me into the youtube uh, spacing because the first person when I started trying uh, checking YouTube, just checking YouTube out, she was the first person's first South African lady that I came across and then I followed, I subscribed, I followed and I watched all her videos and I got very inspired and also she made a video that was very inspiring and I thought like, <laughs> why not? Let me try this. Now, my mentor, without her knowing, um, is the reason why I'll make this video today. So if it's, it comes to Owami, unfortunately, I will have to talk about it. Now, here's a situation. I'll try to make this story short. There is a guy called Mosakaula. He is the king of Twitter. For now, at this particular point, he's the one that comes with the freshest pop news ever. If you don't know what pop news is, he calls himself uh, the Pope of pop culture. Now, pop culture means popular culture. Now, Mosa comes with the latest news on these celebrity people and, you know, uh, everything, J. To a point where most of the YouTubers, if not all, are now adapting to wait for Musa to update something new on Twitter. Then they go screen grab. If it needs to be screen grabbed or whatever juicy detail, they come and report on Twitter. Now, here's a situation. This guy is, is playing on a very thin ice. To a point where he comes with a news that people would prefer uh, that there would be a secret 
um he is i don't know i don't i, I don't want to because you know what i'm afraid of him <laughs> i'm afraid of Musa guys <laughs> he would come for me if he ever come across this future but really Musa is cruel Musa is merciless ruthless i'm looking for all the ways that i can describe Musa. now Musa said something about a celebrity called moshendiki last sunday then moshendiki uh, located him beat him up after beating him up he did go to the hospital from the hospital to the police station to open a case thereafter he opened what we call a space on twitter now here is how the space on twitter for those who do not know how it works you open a space it's like a phone call it's like a conference call you can open a conference call and then in that conference call you can see when people come in and if they are using their real names you can see and uh, there's a possibility of using uh, non-real names or fake names or what they call banner accounts so there are many ways of getting into that conference call now then you request if you want to talk you request uh, that may i please be allowed to talk then there is a person uh, uh, the person that opened the space is called the host and the person that helps them is called the co-host the the, co the host can choose who can co-host for them fine so the co-host on sunday opened and then my favorite woman owami got into the space and i want you to listen to what went on in that space at that particular time this is i think sunday night if not monday early hours of the morning fine and um, listen to this situation i honestly just feel like at the end of the day blogging is a job and we're not going to stop but we need to make it very clear that that yes. is not something that someone can actually do like you cannot just go out there and attack people like you are not going to just come out here and attack me and at the end of the day you also as, as a celebrity you don't know what i have what if you attack me and i shoot your head you and don't know i have like to Mosa, protect not, myself like i have Mosa to defend like nothing the the thing that pisses me off is the fact that like honestly this is what i'm seeing my vela eye is telling me that there's going to be some fake apology that comes out and they are going to expect like Umushe to not be held um, accountable of his actions. I checked something about six hours ago. He retweeted something that um someone tweeted actually someone retweeted Musa's video saying that you guys should be careful there's a killer or whatever something like that and then Musa actually retweeted that that was six uh, um hours ago so he knew you were there so he planned, planned, it. Me, he planned it i feel like friends. this was something that was already planned so it's not yes. something that someone just acted on it's something that they planned that they're going to do that that also shows um intent and obviously that is also like causing bodily harm there is mm. proof of your of musa's hair on the floor so clearly there was harm that was made and i think True. that musa should continue you should even, him, even him, him even him getting in and hitting him and then getting out it shows that he wanted to go get and do what he got to do it's, it's like having a gun and you shoot somebody and you run it's more like that and you, you know honestly have, if you, you can have, sue the institution Mos listen to my people else, oh musa has no idea he my people are yeah. and i, I mean, think that also like musa you should <laughs> also find out like um what can actually be done like in terms of you can actually literally sue the institution because at the end of the day once you enter there like they cannot be like oh just because allegedly umushe owns or whatever he has got a right to come and now attack you like they were supposed to have done something like I feel like there's something that you can literally like have to find out and if you can go for the big bugs like and umu say and i don't let him go like you need to get him arrested the same way that um if it was one of the bloggers that messed up Abantubazuti, no you need to make this person an a, a, as an example umu say make him an example but as a celebrity you are human the only difference is that you're known by people so you can't okay. think and just walk around um beating people up like who the fuck do you think you are get him for me 
Get him he for me one on more Pepsi. time. Get that bitch one more time. And then, now, few days after, let's say four days after, they have another uh, um, interaction. Uh, Oami gets again into the space. As she gets into the space, the co-host can see that Oami is there. And I think the co-host is fully aware that Oami was there not so long ago, about four days ago. Now she's here again, but now knowing that um, uh, she has experience in YouTubing, and Musa was looking for uh, suggestions in terms of because he is contemplating to open his own YouTube uh, channel, uh, which he also calls the TV to be a first GS, um, YouTube TV that you will see. Now, I don't know whether the, I think he wanted the suggestions about the names, how to go about naming it. And then the cohort suggests that Oami be the one uh, to give advice. Yay! I want you to listen to what happened. No, not necessarily. I see boldly Owami. I think she's actually the most appropriate person to answer, especially with regards to that part, how Maukuluva Oguti, the separation of your name versus the business. Her business is boldly Owami. It's her name. And it's worth it. Owami by name. Owami Shongwani. Yes, she's here. She's here. So I don't give a fuck. I don't respect no, her. No, I don't. Hold on. Hold on. I don't. I don't want to fucking hold on. I don't. I said what I said. And I'm not going to get censored. She fine. She can YouTube. Wait for me to get on the YouTube. And I'll teach you how to YouTube. So but she's okay. Get your coin. It's fine. I don't you fucking respect her. I don't. Okay, but you didn't let me finish because I need to be school about the business. I need to be school about the business, and I I see their points. This this is what you've just done now. You used your emotions where you could get business out of this conversation. I need to give advice. So I was I don't need respect. I don't need advice from her. I don't like. I fucking don't. I don't respect the small time YouTubers. Hi. She is a small time YouTuber. Oh, that well, is... she is. Bitch, oh you can goodness. block me if you want. No, well, she me... can. She she can make. Wait, let me tell you. Well, that's fine. That's cute. She working on the that's YouTube. Cute. <laughs> it, 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 it's okay. I don't have a problem with that. But my vision is not fucking limited at sitting at the small screen and then you got some small background going on and then you are if i have a bigger vision than that hence i don't respect her i don't respect my pepandaba i don't respect none of these people that are wanting to blog because if you're gonna blog they need to blog right you can sit on the youtube make your money i don't have a problem with that but the danger is i am coming at the youtube and I am coming to get your bag. That's what you need to worry about. What, I, I don't respect her. You? I'm sorry. Musa, what is this? Oh, person. Rude. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know that person. Why also? Musa, I don't. I can't. I can't. No, no, no. Who's a one I'm not I'm not gonna 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 you. Why am I getting stressed from you? Like, what the fuck? Baby, I don't know you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's not a problem whatsoever. But you don't need to know someone in order to respect them. Clearly, if you're saying you disrespect me, you know me. I don't know you. But that's what I'm saying. Like, what I'm not understanding is why. What is your contribution? Do you want to find. What is your contribution to the culture? Except sitting at your, I don't know, you're sitting at home, wherever the fuck you're sitting. What the fuck are you doing? You're reporting on what? What is your contribution? You're just sitting. You can monetize. You can make your money. I make your coin. It is fine. But it doesn't mean I could have respect you because what the fuck are you doing? Well, you've actually, let me tell you, 
what mm-hmm. I think about you. Mm-hmm. You've actually gotten better at the YouTube. I can respect that. Mm-hmm. But, oh, I remember then it was just so terrible. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, I, I can see what you're doing, Owami, but I'm like, you don't have a voice. You, you're just sitting there doing the fuck you're doing. I suppose you need to pay your rent at, through YouTube or whatever. Then you remember, then you got the divorce, right? Mm-hmm. So then you got to pay your rent. So then that is fine. I'm like, okay, it's okay. Do your thing. But, but it doesn't everyone, mean... Everyone has to pay their rent. Everyone has to pay for their bills. So I'm not understanding. Like, okay, I can, uh, I can respect the fact that you don't respect what I do. You don't see what I do. But at the moment, like, I'm the most subscribed. I see what I do, but I don't respect you. You are either YouTube. You don't have a voice. You don't have a voice. What, what Monetize, it is fine. Voice? What voice uh, are do you, you talking have? because, like, I don't come out with things um, or exclusives or stuff like that? Like, is that what you're talking about? Because clearly, uh, obviously, I would understand because you're saying you don't know me. But clearly, if you knew me, you would know how much of a voice I actually have. But anyway, I'm honestly, like, about to leave. I literally love you, yeah. and if anyone, baby, does, I love you, but I I don't respect no, you. But like that's what I I'm don't talking. respect your contribution to pop culture, baby. But I'm, I, not, I'm, I'm, I'm not being culture. petty. That's and not what I'm. You report on pop culture. The shit you do at your little channel that is pop culture. You're just not doing it right. How are right? you gonna say that one is not doing something right that you don't have? Because that, that sense. what a YouTube channel, baby. I don't need a YouTube channel. Look me up. I'm not even on YouTube. And your YouTube people are getting your shit from me, right? But we're not there. Or your friends are. Let me talk. I I don't need monetizing. Baby, I don't need to monetize. Hence, I am taking my time. You're talking about how you want to make money now. You're talking to business people, people that can make you money. I think that the thing that you should also just understand is the fact that you may... (laughs) Um, not agree with maybe what someone does. I am gonna monetize, but let me tell you, baby. Let me tell you, bitch. Shut your mouth. Let me tell you something. When I monetize, I am not shooting at the back room of my divorce room house. I am bringing a TV show. Hence, I am aligning myself with people with money so that they can invest in my shit because I am bringing a TV show. A YouTube TV show, not a, a okay, I don't know, but not a, a, a small shit. L- let me talk. Shooting L- in their house. At, at yeah, I'm not shooting. I'm not shooting at my house. I'm not shooting at my flat. I am coming. But you're already putting something up there that is not. I don't respect you. You can scream at me. I don't respect the shit out of you. You can go on at your Owami from one. Don't do any. It is no, low class for me. me. As I much as I don't respect okay. you, I never said okay. I don't respect okay. you. You but can I'm go really on, monetize, okay. baby. Bitch, shut your mouth. This is my shit. I can literally kick you out, but it's not about that. Okay. But okay. I am letting you know that I do not respect you. You are cute. Do your nonsense. I don't respect the shit out of you. Monetize and settle your fucking divorce, bitch. I don't respect you. You have no voice. You just sit there and wait for everybody's command. And then you can come command and then monetize. That is not leading. Leading is at the Pope of pop culture. And, and then it went down like that. Did you hear the disrespect that Musa gave Owami? Yo. Yo, yo. It was bad. No one deserved such disrespect. He dis- disrespected her in so many ways. He belittled her. That time, she is a big time YouTuber yet. And he called her a small, small time YouTuber. And she is a big thing. I mean, Owami is one of the eight voices in Africa that were chosen by YouTube recognized by youtube as a black voice that is very very important one of the eight Hmm? of all the many youtubers that are there i mean this lady has got 200 subscribers as we speak right now now 
worst part the one that i felt like maybe i even related with is because he even used his status uh, her status of being divorced against her like he threw the divorce thing so recklessly in that argument <sighs> but then am i surprised no i'm not surprised because that's how Musa is. Musa is like a person that cannot be trusted because once you put a trust in them, they are not afraid to turn their back on you and even ask you, why did you even trust me? They are that kind of a person. Imagine a person that you were talking to on Sunday and they knew you. And then they come four days later and say, I don't know you. That time they call you by your surname. They call you by the surname of the man that you divorced. They even tell you about your divorce. Correct. That's how much they know you. But they like to pretend they don't know you for the sake of humiliating you at that particular moment. So, I don't know uh, how Owami feels about that disrespect. Being called a B-word. Being called... Um, hey, man being reminded of a divorce that recklessly uh, being reminded of where she came from being belittled from such a, a big big player to such a nothing nothing player in uh, in Musa, Musa's, yo, in Musa's space it was bad it must have been very bad for her i don't know i can just imagine I can just put my, my, my feet into her shoes because I think I was going to be very humiliated. No wonder she she just got out of the space just like that without even saying goodbye. Um, if I were here, I could have gotten out sooner than that. I hope she has learned a lesson. I hope that she takes what happened as a lesson for her never to beg people to that point for their approval because i don't understand what was she trying to achieve by getting into Musa spaces and comment because we all get into Musa spaces i'm one of those that get into Musa spaces but i keep them quiet i keep quiet mtase yatula that guy is rude rude to everyone and i don't feel comfortable if a person fights other people i just get there like because i like the news guys i also look for things that i can't talk about and uh, that's all otherwise mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. a person like that i know they can jump on you anytime and i just hope that uh, Oami is well wherever she is and I hope she has learned because even Musa accused her and other YouTubers of using um, his stuff which is the truth that we know although I cannot say uh, Oami has arrived where she is because of Musa's news Musa is Nafiki Zolo he just came up now 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 he's few months into his his career of bringing news for everyone. Owami was there already for the longest time. She had her other ways of getting news without uh, Mosa. And I think it's not even going to be difficult for her to try and find other news without uh, following Mosa if she can do that. And even after Mosa, if Mosa was to be not there tomorrow, uh, Oami's YouTube is not going to stop because of that. But I hope she learns a lesson from that. That in this life, people work together. In this life, people... Um, we, we coexist. You know, this week, I think it hasn't been a good week for her because she was not in a good space here and herself. I think if it was not Tuesday, it must have, must have been Wednesday when she started accusing a lady that she used to mentor 
at one stage she 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 mentored um Ndibuti um when Ndibuti was starting the channel yeah now she had already started so they were close uh she was helping Dibu uh learning the ropes now Ndibu has done so well for herself too to a point where I I can say she is doing much better than Owan because she has got several channels and all her several channels are doing well. She's not just having one channel or two channels. She's having several and several of them are doing well and not several, all of them are doing well and one of them is already surpassed 200 uh, sub 200,000 subscribers just like Yena Owami her subscribers are now more than 200,000 um, so I don't know whether the the bone of content is that I taught you how to do this and now you are um, excelling at this to a point where now you have passed me because to tell the truth in the beauty has passed Owami in terms of subscribers when you add them combined because she put her, her eggs in many many baskets about eight baskets if i'm not mistaken according to one of the uh, interviews that i've watched where she was interviewed now and Ewami has got two uh, channels maybe she has more that i don't know about but so far i know her to be having two channels which are also doing well because one has exceeded 200,000 uh, subscribers and the other one i'm not sure where it is but it is good as well but i kind of feel like the the real real bone of content could be that um i taught you how to do this how come you are exceeding me now because she is complaining about Ndibuti coping her. Kanti, what is the purpose of mentoring, guys? I thought mentoring is come and see how I do things so that you can take what I'm doing and if you can uh, do better, go for it. And I think as a mentor, um, you should be proud of yourself if the person that was under your wing that that was your mentee if they do well you should at least give your uh, yourself a pet on the back to say you know what this person lent these for me and look at where she is now so i feel like instead of her complaining about trivial things to a point where she complains about the master class she com she complains about the time of posting like there was a time when she su suggested that she wants to do a master class and Ndibu T also um, decided to do the same. And then there was a time when she, um, oh, when she posted at seven o'clock for uh, one week, just one week, just from that last week, she started posting at seven and then, um, Ndibu started posting at 7. But that was not true. Ndibu had been posting at random times forever. That lady is posting, posting, posting. The only thing that could have been is that she started premiering her, her post as well. So one of the premieres was 7 and then it correlated with her. Wait. There is nothing wrong with they. How can you accuse a person that they were copying you? Just because you're no longer in good terms? Remember this person, you were their mentor at one stage. And everyone can do that. Remember, even YouTube is also suggesting times to post to people that post to YouTubers. And it's not just uh, suggesting the time only to you. Just because you are the biggest YouTuber. It also, it suggests, it suggests to everyone who is a YouTuber to say, look at these times. Uh, look at uh, the best times that you can post for your audience. So, she may have copied her. 
is it wrong even if she can copy it because it works for the both of them I'm, I mean we are there for both of them we love the both of them and if this one comes first I'm still gonna watch it that one comes I'm still gonna watch watch it and she did state that since she posted at seven her views went up so what is she complaining about hmm you cannot complain that <clears throat> something that works for you now it should only um work only for you that is gatekeeping and the master class let's go back to the master class where is the master class why is it not happening and why is Dibu not supposed to be holding master classes how should the 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 new youtubers learn if not the best from if not from the best the best being you and Ndibuti and Michali and whoever is big right now. Even Meji. We should be those people are you you all of you are qualified to hold your master classes. And each one of you can have a master class on their own, telling secrets. Uh, and we know we cannot tell all the secrets that you used, but most of the secrets at a fee. Because you you are successful at this. That's how it works in, in each and every business. If you have mastered the art of whatever business, you are allowed to have a master class. That is not even gosh. Even if they can they can steal from you the good idea, not just for them, for you, for everyone. And both if if you set all your master classes will we will attend all the master classes because we want to hear uh, how did this one get here and how did that one get there and how did that one get there even all of you all the big youtubers even if you can have the master classes um each and every month alternative months we will be there because we want to learn we also want to be successful and uh, when I, if you came up with the idea instead of fighting people for coming up with the idea you would rather say they stole it from me and be proud of it you are a trendsetter my sister consider yourself a trendsetter consider yourself a trendsetter imagine if drip were to were to fight whoever is going to um make sneakers after them like does it make sense don't make sneakers i'm the one that made sneakers so don't copy don't copy no whoever's going to make sneakers they're going to make sure that they are never going to make sneakers the same way you did the sneakers they won't make sneakers that look like you exactly but imagine if you are Lukau and you don't want Batu or Batu does not want Lukau to guys no no oh honey please I don't know the track of thought that you are in right now I just wish for you that you derail it you you sit up and look at yourself as an achiever an overachiever if there are people that are copying from you and of which some of us are going to copy from you, you're going to fight until, until. Because so many people are looking up to you and we're not just looking up to you. We're looking at the things that are working for you. We're going to follow them. What is the crime in that? There's no crime. You need to look at yourself and consider yourself a trendsetter. You are a trendsetter nothing else and nothing less thank you so much bye